Hi students, uh, I am Mahesh Silvain, Director of Excel Career Institute. Today I would like to answer a question. How to choose an institute for training in clinical research program? Whether a student can choose based on fees or a student should choose based on how many company types the institute has or the student should choose based on the institute giving guarantee placements. Yeah, these are the few of these things we do keep it in front when we want to choose an institute. Let me try answering this question with my 15 years of experience in clinical research education industry. Before the 15 years of my experience in education industry, formerly I had 10 years of pharma industry experience. And I was very happy to say here, I was lucky to work with some of the most important innovative multinational research companies like Serbia, Alagan, and Alcon. And today, I can say that with my professional experience of 10 years and 15 years of education industry experience in the healthcare sector, I can say with a lot of clarity that Excel Career Institute is trying to help students in all round development. Now, let me come back to the same question. How do we choose an institute when you want to join this course? We started with whether you will choose the institute based on fees. Okay, fees is definitely an important element for most of us. Okay. When we have done our graduation from pharmacy, uh, life sciences, and medicine. So we have invested a good amount of time and money already. Now when you want to do a, a professional course like clinical research, investing three to four months of time, and again you have to invest, it all, always asks us to check whether we want to do it or not. And if you want to do it, we always look for which is the you know fees which is easily affordable. When we choose Institute based on fees, I must say, fees as much as you pay, it is equally proportional to the quality. So, if if you have to understand that the amount of money you spend in your training, that much only the quality you would get. If you are paying twenty five thousand for a course in a particular institute, you will get the work of twenty five thousand only. Or for that matter, if you are paying 35,000 for one particular course in one institute, you would also get the same kind of worth of education and services into that kind of money. Or if you want to pay, say, 50,000 or 60,000, that much of work you will be getting in return in terms of the services. So, now, it's a difficult thing whether 35,000, 25,000, or 45,000, 60,000, which is ideal. The ideal is you don't judge an institute based on the fees. That's one of the answer to the question. So, you don't judge based on the fees. You should judge based on who are the trainers are there, first of all. And who are the trainers? Plus, in that course, how many trainers are part of that program? For example, in 25,000 program or in 35,000 program or say 55,000 program or 45,000 program, you check with the institute how many trainers are part of that particular program and you will be surprised to know an institute which is giving 25,000 or 35,000 they will eventually do the program of clinical research with maybe maximum, say, minimum to two or maximum five trainers, not more than that. Okay, so that is again the quality of education you have to evaluate in what way it is given to you. 
So that's what I say. The amount you pay, that much of amount, uh, that much of quality of services you will get from the institute. Okay. So now coming back to the second option, whether you will choose based on how many companies the institute is tied up, I would say that is very uh, less mature enough to uh, come to conclusion based on if the institute saying that I have so many types with so many companies. I'll tell you why. Clinical research industry is more driven with ethics and clinical research industry basically works with a, a process where the work is being outsourced from one party to the other party. Now the party which is taking the work from a, a sponsor or the first party, so the second party would try to ensure giving optimum and quality results and at the same time maintaining confidentiality. So if I have to say this, this particular process deals with as much as 98% of quality or 98% of quality what the sponsor looks from a, a CRO. And to deliver that, any client or any CRO would not to jeopardize their project which is given from a sponsor. So they, there has to be a, a quality in the, you know, in terms of deliverables. So when that is the question mark, that is what the uh, requirement. So if a company tie-up is being shown by the institute, will you think that a company will hire a student because that institute has a tie-up with the company? The company will not take a student based on an institute is referring and recommending. That tie-ups are just to put on the walls of the cabin or an institute just to influence a student that so many tie-ups we have. That tie-ups will not get directly fit to that job because you have to go for an interview because though the tie-ups are there, the company has to screen a candidate and again it boils down to skill set. Now that is where your amount has to be spent an institute where they are training you on technical knowledge as well as the institute takes equal amount of importance on developing in your non-technical skills. When I say non-technical skills, I am talking about your soft skills, your, your language skills, your aptitude levels and I can say here, since the clinical research industry deals with data, data, so you have to have computer skills. A lot of students, when they want to make a career in clinical research industry, this work is predominantly worked on systems. And most of these students, I'm not saying all, most of these students even doesn't have computer skills. So try spend your developing your computer skills. That is where the institute you should look forward to. Okay, not the tie-ups. Tie-ups is just for the walls of that particular institute to influence a student. What in interview matters is your skill set, technical and non-technical. Then, then would you like to choose an institute based on an institute guaranteeing you placement? Now that would be the one of the easiest way an institute would like to influence a student and take your admission. Please don't fall to this kind of you know promises of any institute wherein the placement will not happen because the counselor or the institute manager or the institute director is telling that the guarantee of placement happening from that institute that never happens in the world. As I said the earlier, company do screen the candidates. Without screening, you will not get in, step into the company doors. So, so try understand. There is nothing of that sort which is existing guarantee. If somebody is saying that you will be getting job that guaranteed by joining our institute, so many students are placed in our institute, and you also will get placed, and this is what we guarantee. You can say 
for sure, you think for sure, they are white lies. So, my dear students, who are making, uh, looking forward to make their career in the research industry, either you are B pharmacy or life sciences or medicine, choose your institute based on certain parameters, which I will share in my next video. For this video, I have given you some of the ideas where you should not join an institute based on the wrong promises. Thank you very much.